Welcome to part 7 of my series on Conakol, in which I'm trying to present my personal approach to this Indian rhythm language. Today's video sums up what we've learned so far on polyrhythms. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions how to create polyrhythms or your own polyrhythmic exercises and what's more, I'm going to give you a formula which enables you to play literally any number of notes over any number of beats. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to play the following polyrhythms. 3 over 4, 3 over 5, 3 over 7, 4 over 7, 5 over 4, 7 over 4. If you want to play a certain number of notes, X, over a certain number of beats, Y, you have to do the following. First, Y represents your time signature, or meter. Set up your metronome with this time signature. Then, X represents your floor of rhythm, your subdivisions, your rhythmic grid. You have to divide every beat into X parts. You do this by using the conical word with X syllables. Let's say you want to play 3 over 4. 3 notes over 4 beats. So 4 is your time signature, the number of beats. Every measure has 4 beats. And 3 refers to your subdivisional grid. And the corresponding word in conical for 3 notes is takite. So write down the word takite four times. This is your subdivisional grid. And now comes the most important step. You have to group these syllables into groups of four notes. So underline every fourth syllable starting with the first one. This is our primary rhythmic layer. The click of the metronome coincides with every ta, but you should play or clap only the underlined syllables. If you want to take this exercise further, you can then retext this conical line, this conical sentence. In order to do so, you have to choose the corresponding conical word with Y syllables and write that down X times. Now after retexting, you get a new line, a new conical sentence. This is our secondary rhythmic layer. And please note that in both lines, um, the syllables with capital letters fall on the click of the metronome exactly on the beat, so to speak. But you should play or clap only the syllables that are underlined. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. The polyrhythmic effect is even stronger when you try to play both layers at the same time. Pianists may try this with one hand playing the tars and the other hand playing the underlying syllables. That means the tars of your secondary layer. As a bass player, you can, for example, play the tars by plucking the strings and the underlying syllables by hitting them with your thumb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This lesson concludes my first series of instructional videos on Conical my season one, so to speak. Season two, with new videos, is coming soon. It'll open up a new chapter on rhythm, which I hope will also be very useful for you. So don't miss it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. All the best. See you next time.